hi guys this is mina and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to learn about the sql insert into select statement so this statement is used to copy data from one table and insert into another table and for it to work both table one and two need to exist either in the same database or in different databases and also if the data types between both tables are different this syntax is going to throw an error. What I mean is, for instance, if I have to move a field called name with data type varchar from table one to table two, then in table two, it, the field also needs to have varchar data type. If the data types between both tables are different, this syntax is going to throw an error. So the syntax for the insert into select statement is you write out the word insert into and then you specify the destination table or table two and the columns that you want to populate within table two and then you select columns from table one so insert into table two columns in table two and then select columns from table one it's that simple guys so let's move on to our SQL Server Management Studio and try this out. So here in my SQL Server Management Studio, I have a database called Demo, and I have some tables here. What I want to do is to move records from people into another table called Persons. For the insert into select statement to work, it means that I need to create Persons table. So let's go to new query and paste the syntax for insert into select statement here. First of all, I need to create the person table. And the easiest way for me to create this table is to script out the existing table. So I'm just going to go to this table and script table as create to copy to clipboard and paste the syntax here. All I need to do now is to change the name of the table to persons and execute this command. I need to make sure I'm working in the demo database and click on execute. Now, if I refresh the demo database and go to tables, I have my persons table here. I'm going to increase the size. Let me create a new query window here. So I'm going to insert table into people two table by writing out the insert into select statement. So insert into person table, that's table two, my destination table, the columns in the person table. Okay, so I'm going to insert into all of these columns. However, the ID field is a primary key, and I need to check if it's an identity field. From the syntax here, it is not an identity field, so I have to populate it. If it was an identity field, then there is no need to populate. It will auto-populate by itself. So I'm going to insert into the ID field, the name field, gender date of birth and city and i'm going to select records from table one so select columns same columns from person and that's it which means that every record i have in the people table will be moved into the person table do we want to see the records yes i do so let's just select staff from people table just to see the records we have in there as a kit so that means all of these records will be moved into the person table I'm going to go ahead and insert into the persons table. Ten rows have been affected. 
So if I select star from present table, we should see the same records in there. There we have it, guys. It's so easy and simple. So here in our first demonstration, we copied data from from one table to another that exists in the same database. But with this syntax, we can even work across databases. And we can do that by using the three parts naming convention, which is we specify the database, the schema, and the table. So let's try that out. Our next example will be moving data from one database to another. Okay, so let's look for a table in Essential. I think I have a simple table here, country, yes. The country exists in an Essential database. So I'm going to script out country table. syntax for creating the country table i'm going to create this table in demo database one thing we need to note from this syntax is that the country id is an identity field which means that in our insert into select statement we do not need to specify this country id column when we are moving records into our table too because it will auto populate by itself so now execute command the command has been completed successfully if i refresh the demo database and open it up i have a country table here so now insert into database name and then the table name so this is a three-part naming convention database schema table if you do this then we can work across databases because we are specifying the name of the database and what what columns in um country table do we want to populate i'd like to populate just the country name okay then i'm going to select the country name from the essential database so let's go there i'm going to collapse the demo database open the essential database columns select country from essential that give you a country it's that simple with that we don't even need to specify database here because the system will automatically detect that we are working across databases okay i'm going to execute this command since rows have been affected, do you want to know the number of rows in the essential database? Select star from without specifying the essential database, the query will not work. So I'm just going to put the essential database here. Essential dot country. Okay, so we have six records in our um, essential country database. Let's select from our newly created table in the demo database. So because the query window has been set to demo, we don't need to um, include the database name here. But if you want, you can still put demo dot here. I'm just going to execute this command. See, we have the same results. So this is essentially how you copy data from one table to another, either within the same database or across databases and using the insert into select statement. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye bye.